Now comes the million dollar question, when to choose row versus column store. So when most of the data are unique, say for the config table or for the value table, which has a company code or the chart of accounts or the plant, which are unique, so go for the row store. Uh, and if there is opportunity for compression or if there is repetition of data, then go for the column store. Uh, second criteria is when you know that for sure we do not need any aggregation we do not need any sum or we don't need any average or we do not need any um, bigger or higher number then go for row so where do you find this so say you have a org org data you know, where you have the company code 006 then you have another company code 009 and another company code 012 so you will never add those company code right even though those are numbers you you will never add them because um, what you, what will you get if you add 009 and 012 which are the company code name or the number so it doesn't make sense so when aggregation is not needed just go for row store but but in, in the transaction table say for the sales order or the for the purchase order for the billing or or for delivery we need aggregation to report and to do analysis Say you want to know how much, uh, what is the average number of uh, sales order we uh, we deliver every day. So you want to do some maths. So wherever there is some aggregation needed or you think that it might be needed in future, go for the column store. Next is when all the rows are to be read. So when you want to do select star, never do in column store. So it has to be row store. So and when you want to do specific columns or you want to do some analysis or read some specific columns go for column store and then there is another word here which says row is less restrictive and column is more selective so the same meaning so row so what does that mean so if you are not sure which type of uh, store should be chosen so as a thumb rule always go for row store because it is less restrictive so it if if you uh, instead of doing column store, you do a row store and try to do a read and write, you still are okay because the performance will fall a little but it will not fall drastically. But if you do a star, select star on a column store table, then you are ruined. So since column store is like tiny tables and if you do select star, then it will traverse through each tiny table. Say, say there are 100 fields, there are 100 columns. So uh, so it will be like reading through 100 column 100 tables so if you are doing a select star on a column store table then it and it has 100 fields then it will be like selecting from 100 individual tables so so the, your performance will degrade exponentially so as a thumb rule keep it in your mind never do a select star for a column store table so keep in mind the in a column store each field acts like a tiny table so if you do a select star on a table which has 100 fields that means you will be doing select on 100 individual tables so that will uh, have a negative impact on the performance